I'm Dr. Helene Smith and today we are going to talk about infection control in the dental office and what that means for you as a patient. There are many rules set in place by OSHA in order to protect you as a consumer, but they were originally set to protect the dentist or the healthcare provider who was working on you. There are many things that have been a law for over two decades that the dentist should be wearing and using in order to provide the best care and provide infection control for you. It surprises me. Many times dentists do not comply to these regulations. They are very simple and please reflect to see if your dentist uses these. For example, gloves should always be worn every single time the dentist is going to be touching your mouth or looking at you or examining you. It amazes me that there are dentists who do not wear gloves and they put their fingers into your mouth. That's a law. The other thing is a mask. A dentist should always wear a mask while he's examining you and more so that is be to protect him. Safety glasses for his eyes should always be worn also as the oral cavity has many bacteria that could cause blindness and terrible infection to the healthcare provider's eyes. Also, um, a gown should be worn uh, by the dentist in order to protect his clothes or if there becomes contaminated with blood, he or she can take it off and put a new gown on. One, the, once the dentists are putting different instruments into your mouth, many of the things we have today are disposable and they are thrown away at the end of the appointment. There is also barrier controls that are used, for example, with this light which is used routinely in dental fillings and crown restorations, but this barrier slips off and is disposed. This is wiped down with a special liquid in order to kill and sterilize uh, any bacteria that might be on this, although it was covered with a uh, disposable plastic sheet. And the other thing that always happens in dental offices that, I'm, that never needs to be worried, although the consumer many times asks and is overly worried about uh, sterilization, that is always done by dentists, and it's always done properly. For example, instruments are first soaked in a ultrasonic solution, which begins the sterilization process by disinfecting them. After they soak in there for 10 to 20 minutes, they are then moved as the assistant is in proper infection control uh, outfitting that we just talked about with their gloved hands, and they are placed into the statum. Many times, this, the instruments are bagged before they go into the sterilizer and they become sterilized in this bag. And then when the dentist is ready to use these, the bag is opened up and the sterile instruments are used. I hope you've enjoyed learning a bit about sterilization and infection control in the dental office. I'm Dr. Helene Smith. Thank you.